Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of other questions, Doc. I just want to answer this. One okay, sure, please. It's a good showcase of. Uh, so, if you were trading ES uh, S&P mini futures, would you use ES level SPX or SPY and why? So first, uh, that's actually a good question. Um, so first of all, we are one of the few, actually probably the, the only company that is actually providing you with gamma levels on futures. So let me show you how this works uh, within the bot. So within the bot, uh, I can go, I can go here and I can request the levels and we created a command, which is the futures command. Uh, in this command, we have SPX, we have NDX, QQQ, but we also have NQ and ES. So I can copy this text and I can now, um, I can now come here and I can go back to my indicator and I can now replace this. So now we are basically plotting the levels of SPX, but we also have the levels of ES. So this is the futures level. So if we go on ES, we now have the futures levels right here. But again, we can actually convert levels uh, on the future or vice versa. So in this case, I can plot the SPX level on ES right here. So here, what you can see is you have the SPX one day max here, you have the SPX um core resistance wall and uh and yeah so you have the ability i could even add like spy here so i can actually come here now and add spy instead of spx so at this point you are basically converting um converting spy so and let me jump in and explain why somebody might want to do that spx has more notional traded daily, especially with the zero DTE, than ES. And so the dealer's obligation, reflexive hedging response, what they basically must do if they don't want to lose money, is going to be strongest off of the SPX. And so with that conversion, you can see where the SPX levels are on an E-mini an e -mini chart. So you don't have to make the conversion in your head and say, okay, it's approximately 50 point difference, whatever it is. And you don't have to play that mental game. You see where the levels are. Mm -hmm.